Hi beauties, thank you for thanks you thank you thank you thank you hi beauties thanks for joining me welcome back to my channel today's video what the heck was that channel hi beauties thank you thanks you oh gosh Hi beauties, thanks for joining me and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm actually collabing with Carla from Real Chicks TV. Uh, we are actually going to be doing a foliage autumn, I say foliage autumn because I know some people call it autumn, some call it fall. So fall and autumn kind of a look. So if you guys are interested in seeing what look I come up with, keep on watching. So Carla, I have known for a very long time, actually her and Cindy, I collabed with them before her, the channel used to be called Two Real Chicks. And I did collab with them before. I will put the link down below of that video actually. Cindy um, doesn't go with her as much as what she used to. So she ended up changing the channel to uh, Real Chicks TV. So I was super excited when I had the opportunity to do this because I haven't collabed in a long time. I did have some ideas of some really pretty fall colors. Um, I love a lot of the warm tones, as some of you might know, and I had thought about a palette that I wanted to use in this uh, video. If you are not subscribed to Carla's channel, Real Chicks TV, I will have the link down below to her video. Go and check her out. She does a little bit of everything on her channel. She has um, you know, she does talk about makeup, she does talk about skincare, but she also talks and brings to our attention of serious, you know, issues that might be going on. Um, she did one just not too long ago that was about ovarian cancer. That is such a huge thing that a lot of us women, especially, uh, you know, are in danger of possibly getting. So yeah, she just has a wide range of different things. She talks about serious topics, like I said. So I'll put a link down below to that video and go and check her out and subscribe if you are not already. Also, if you are just coming from Carla's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy what you see. I hope you do join my channel and you can click the subscribe button that's down below. And always make sure you hit the bell when you subscribe to somebody because that way you can keep in contact and, you know, keep up with the videos when they're up being uploaded and, you know, ready to watch. Um, it's just a better way to keep connected basically. So I actually have the face makeup part done. I don't normally do that. I like to do my eyeshadow first and then do the other stuff, but to save some time, I figured it would be better. So the palette I'm actually using, I shared in a video. I didn't actually get to do swatches or use it or talk about it because I used the other one, but this is the Rachel Leary and it's from Makeup Revolution. This is the Goddess on the Go face and eyeshadow palette. So it's a face palette and an eyeshadow palette. And it comes in this really gorgeous orange package. Here are the colors here. So you can see already, this does have a lot of colors that you could use right now, even for fall. And then you got your, um, your face products over here and all the eyeshadows here. So I did, what's on my face, I did use all these products here, like the blush, the blush, the bronzer, and the highlight. I didn't use this one, it's a little more shimmery, so I didn't use that one. All right, I already got my eyes uh, prepped and primed. Uh, I actually just used my concealer and just blotted it on. Usually, some, a lot of times I will use a uh, eye primer, but I just used a concealer. This doesn't actually have a base to set, but I don't think today I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to skip that actually um, and play around a little bit and uh, try something a little different than what I, because normally I would set my eye with a just maybe pressed powder, even if there's not a color in there that I want to set with. I like to set my primer because I find that it doesn't uh, skip along, if that makes sense. It doesn't uh, stick and skip along because sometimes that can be hard, but also I do like to pat in my eyeshadows. I find that's a little helpful if I'm patting my eyeshadows in my crease or anywhere around there because mm, I'm 52 and as we get a little older, um, you know, 
it does become hard to do the windshield wiper motion as they call it uh, because you know yeah it's kind of pulling and tugging a little bit on your skin so sometimes I like to just press and pat like this a little bit and then gently just maybe do a little blending in there like that so let's see here I'm actually going to go to this color right here called straight straight fire and I'm going to start working that um, hmm I might work that right in the crease, just above it maybe a little bit. This palette is $15, by the way, too, just so you're aware. Okay, so the next product, I'm actually going to go in, next product, next color I meant to say, is Red Velvet, this shade right here. I'm going to go into that one, and I'm going to go right deep into the crease area. Hoping this turns out to how I'm wanting it to look. You know how that can be. I'm actually maybe going to bring it down a little bit, too. You know that? Uh, yeah, let's bring it down some. I'm going to dip into that um, straight fire again just a little bit and work it back up and through here a little bit more too. Now of course if you don't have this palette and you know you might want to create something like this I mean there's lots of palettes out there that do have the you know orange and um, burnt orange this looks like a, a burnt orange color to me this one that I'm using right now the straight fire and then there's, you know, a lot of palettes that have the cranberry shades. Now, I think I'm going to go for the co coconut latte. It, it is of a shimmer shade. The other two shades I used were more matte uh, shades. So I'm going to use that and press up here just a, just a little bit. I gotta do my brows though yet too, so I didn't quite do my brows. So yeah, we have these two colors on the bottom here. Those two golds. Like one's more bronzy from Obsessed. Do you know what? Maybe I will do Obsessed. I think I'm going to. That's this shade right here. It's called Obsessed. The other one's more of a golden color. Obsessed is more of, what would you say, golden bronze? Or, yeah, like yellow bronze? I don't know. But oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm not sure what color you would say that is. Okay, I'm going to dip into red velvet just a little bit more and blend it inward with that color. And then, you know, slide this up and around. A little bit more of straight fire again, just so I can make sure my orangey shade comes through. It's kind of funny thinking almost like but then again, I guess candy corn there can be, it's white. But I was just thinking, like, when I'm looking at this look, I'm thinking of candy corn. But no, that's not what I'm thinking. I mean, I do feel fall with this look. So I think on the lower part of my lashes, um, because I'm going to use my uh, burgundy colored Urban Decay 24 and 7. I think this is the Aubergine or alkaline this is alkaline eyeliner it's like a burgundy shade so 
I think I'm going to use red velvet down along there first and then I will blend in another shade, a lighter shade. I will do that because I already got my um, concealer and stuff all in. I'm going to actually strip. I'm actually going to dip into um, the straight fire and uh, work that down there too. Do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and go off and any of the products that I used, even on my face, I will put down below. So that way, if you have any questions of what I have on or anything, and then also what I put on my eyes, I will have that all listed down below. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here and do my brows and do my eyeliner and my mascara and all that stuff. And then I'll be right back. So here is my final look for my fall um, inspiration look. I'm um, hoping it doesn't look similar to the other palette whenever I did that look. I feel like it might. If it does, it does. Um, these colors are are really pretty, I, I will say. I really like it. The lip product, the lip, um, the lip color that I put on, I wasn't sure if it would go with, but it doesn't look too bad. I was thinking between this one here, which is from Hard Candy. It's one of their metallic mousse. I don't know if they still have these or not like a lipstick or something. This one's in truffle, this color here. So if anybody's wondering, this is truffle from that. So all right, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Um, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much, and I greatly, greatly appreciate that. Also, thank you so much, Carla, for asking me to join in with you guys. I really, it's been a while since I've actually done a collab or even a video. If I do seem kind of offish, uh, most people know that my brother has been in the hospital and ICU and just a lot of things have been going on. So um, I feel like I'm a little off my game today. I'm hoping to do a live on Wednesday. So be alert that I might be doing a live on Wednesday. I'm not 100% sure, but I would like to do one live um, on here on my channel. So uh, be on the lookout. Uh, it'll probably be about 1 p.m. Eastern time. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.